Joining me now is Congressman Tim Burchett. Congressman, thank you so much for joining me once again. Thank you so much for having me on, ma'am. It's my pleasure. You've had a busy week. Earlier this week, just a few days ago, you joined 18 other Republicans in voting against a procedural measure to renew Section 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. So can you talk to us, walk us through your decision here? Yes, ma'am. Uh, as you know, FISA has been used to spy on American citizens in 2021 over 278,000 times. I mean, they apparently I've just, just heard on the House floor, uh, I think somebody said something about they used it to spy on uh, families that somebody possibly was having an affair with a FBI agent's spouse or something crazy like that. I mean, you know, this thing is just overrun with abuse and, um, and it's wrong. So what we did was we took down the rule, which it was a procedural move that would just stop the vote on it, stop us from being able to pass it because they were not allowing any amendments. And one of the most egregious things is, is that you're not, that you're not required a search warrant. And so, um, and as I was lobbied, I think illegally by a member of the State Department uh, on this bill, they told me, I said, well, what about the part about the, the, the uh, search warrants? And they said, well, Congressman, that's problematic. Problematic, you know, that's in the Bill of Rights. It's our constitutional right. These things are just um, basic American things. That, that the FBI is using to deny us. Now they've gotten with the Intelligence Committee and, you know, oh, we're going to, the world's going to come to an end. Well, you know, dadgummit, why, why wasn't uh, the head of the FBI, um, Ray, why wasn't he concerned about the border? We know we've had caught terrorists that they've actually caught, and they knew they were terrorists, turned them loose. A year later, they decided to rein them in. Um, why aren't they concerned about that? Why aren't they concerned about the 10 to 14 million illegals in our country? Why aren't they concerned about the communist Chinese? We've been told over, uh, I think 114,000 are within our country and we don't know where the heck they are. Why aren't they concerned about that? They're using this to spy on Americans and we need to clean it up. And that's what this is all about. And the debate right now going on on the House floor is is healthy and it's the right thing to do. And shame on the Uniparty for trying to block us from any kind of debate. Some of your fellow Republicans have said that if this isn't reauthorized, the world and America in particular is less safe. That includes Senate Intelligence Committee Vice Chair Marco Rubio, Mitt Romney, among others. Does not reauthorizing this section make America safer? Well, it, obviously they've had it in the past and we've had a lot of terrorist failures, they've come into our country. Um, I don't see how it makes us safer. If you don't have the uh, the provision to get a warrant, um, to me that, that just, we just line up with Russia, China, and all the other banana republics in the world. And that's the way they do business. We can't, um, you know, this thing allows the FBI to do what they call a warrantless query. Um, and, you know, why don't they just go get a warrant? I'll tell you why because a judge would laugh them out of court. You're gonna go investigate somebody because they're sleeping with your wife and using federal authorities to do that. You know, that, that's pathetic. And to think that they're not gonna use this for political enemies and the members of the media who are making excuses for this thing, they're going after them next and they better be aware of it because this will not end here. We better put a, we, we better put a cork in it and if we can't, and, and if we can't get the, the, the warrant provision put in, we need to kill it and start over. As you the, the, the intelligence committee community, the so-called intelligence community, you know, they always circle the wagons. Here we are with an FBI that we've just, you know, punished them for this, for these violations by giving them a new headquarters that's going to be bigger than the Pentagon. Can you imagine that? They need more money to go after terrorists, but what are they, what's their big lobbying push all year? Get them a new headquarters. You mentioned earlier that there is debate as you and I sit here right now on the House floor. How have negotiations been going? Been going? Can you take us inside any type of conversations you've had on this? Well, the negotiations would not be going at all. The Uniparty, the big boys, whatever, and big girls, they'd be cramming this down America's throat ad nauseum right now if we had not stopped it earlier this week by voting down the rule. That's all there is to it, 100%. Um, and the only reason they're debating it now is because we forced their hands to it. They're arrogant, 
They need to be called down. And Americans need to start paying attention to who the heck they elect to Congress. They come home and feed you the red meat and they say, yeah, America, we're doing this and boo Nancy Pelosi, you know? And, and then they, they come back here and just throw in with the far left, even the Marxists on these things. This thing is wrong as wrong can be. And they, they're just drinking the Kool-Aid if they think anything else. And they've sold, they have sold you out. I don't care if you play golf with them or they're in your Sunday school class or, you know, they date your sister or your brother. If they're not, if, if they're doing this kind of shenanigans, you need to vote their butts out. That's the bottom line, man. Congressman, I would love if you could be a little bit more specific and name some names here. When you're criticizing this uniparty, who specifically are you talking about? Look at the chairman. Go look and see who's on the on the floor right now debating the, the saying that they don't need a warrant to investigate you. That's that that pretty much sums it up right there. And are you talking about Republicans as well? Absolutely. Both sides. Both sides. Because they don't all they care about is staying in power, ma'am. And they've got this now they've got the intelligence community behind them. That to me has a very chilling effect on democracy and keeping good people out. That's why good people don't want to be in politics because of this these uh these shenanigans we keep playing up here.